In many cases, it is not enough to have the output just defined by a set of inputs. Sometimes you also want to introduce memory into the system. This memory we introduce by making states and using state transition graphs. So the state transition graph here is a graph where the state is a description of the past. So this state will contain all the relevant information about the history of the system that we need in order to solve our problem. So note here that it does not include all the history that we have, it only includes the history that we need in order to solve our problem. When we make our states, we write them in this way, we make a circle and then we define the state with some name. For each of the state, we will have one branch that goes out of the state for each of the possible inputs that we have. And also for each state, there is one output combination for each of the possible inputs. So in this case, we have for the state S, when we have the input X, we say that we have the output U, and when we go to the next state, we go to the state that we here denote by S plus.